Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about um, the, the new 3D canvas that's available inside the AllCAD and Allegro products. It's available in all levels of the, light, of the tools. So you can uh, AllCAD standard all the way up to Allegro PCB design. So we'll click on the 3D button and we'll send everything through to the design. And we now get the 3D representation of our, of our board. So um, there's a collision detection tab, so we can run a clash detect with some step models that have been imported, and this is going to do a step model to step model con uh, collision. So we'll click on the calculate button. So I've got a couple of clashes here. Um, my cover is clashing with D4, so let's go and have a look at that. We can just zoom in here, pan around. So you can actually see the clash there. The, the, the diode or the LED is actually overlapping the cutout in here. So I'd have to move that back um, into a position that would clear that. Uh, and then I've also got another clash. So we'll just flip this over. Um, but this is more of an interference fit. So I've, I've got a, a mechanical module of a dim card being plugged into the connector here. And you can see that that's kind of causing um, a clash as well. So I can do a right click bend. And if we look at our options pane, we've now got the bends here. So if we look in PCB editor, back in the main canvas, um, you can actually add your bend lines from the setup uh, bends. You can create and edit these and you can add bend locations. And then the 3D canvas takes these into account. So will this just go and bend everything? So we'll click on the bend button, bend all. And you can see effectively my LED module there has bent round, I've got some bends in this flexi and some bends in this flexi, which can be really helpful to get a visualization of what's going on when you're looking at your design. What we'll do is we'll just take the bends off. Let's go to the symbols. Um, we'll just turn off our top cover. So we can start to look at the, uh, a real accurate visualization of our PCB here. So silk screen, our step models, um, we can start to turn layers on and off. So let's just turn uh, let's turn all our, all our symbols off actually. Let's just simplify this display. And then we'll go to the visibility pane and we can start with everything off. We can look at things like just the solder mask, the top copper, the dielectric layers individually um, all grouped selects together. So you can work your way through and look at all the, all the layers that you want in one go. Um, which gives you a nice visualization. This is using some specific colors, so we've got a setup and preferences. Um, we've got one here for design colors, so you can actually see the design colors that are being used as you work your way through. Um, there's some predetermined colors, so if we actually go back and just turn all our layers back on, so we can have black, blue, purple. I mean, lots and lots of different options here, or you can literally come in here, do a right click and add, and then specify your colors here for what you want to use. Let's just go back to uh, the Steve one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my symbols on. Um, and what I wanna show you now is a quite a useful feature called a cutting plane. So I'm just gonna do a view camera. Uh, let's get this set to the right side. So you can see here I've got a kind of a bulge in my cover um, to clear a transistor that's sitting through there but I, I, I can't really see how that how much clearance is there so if I go to the setup preferences I've got something called the cutting plane so I can enable the cutting plane and then effectively drag this this toolbar along to see where my cutting plane is so you can see there's the cover let's go a little bit further so actually now I can start to see a, f a physical representation of this um, so let's do an apply on okay and if we just zoom out it's actually going to store that um, in the visualization. So I could then do something like file output. Uh, sorry, let's do file export. Sorry. Um, let's go and do a step file, uh, a PDF file. Let's put it to my desktop. Let's call this Steve. And we'll save that PDF. Now look at our desktop. There's my PDF file. And you can see it's actually output that as a PDF file. So you can see. Physically, you could go and show the mechanical engineers or whatever about the clearances. So let's go set up preferences. We'll turn our cutting plane off.
So we'll close the 3D viewer. I'm just going to open a different board. So if you go to recent designs, I'm just going to open a different board here. Um, so I've got a kind of a, a little clamshell style of board here. So we'll just click on the 3D view here. And then we'll do right click bends, go to our options pane and enable the bend. So I've got my, my, my board inside my module there. Looks pretty good, but let's just run a clash detect. I've got a clash. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So if I go to the, the, the symbols, let's just turn off our face. Let's find out where that clash is. Oh, we can see it there, it's orange. So I've obviously got an issue with my bend here. You can see that one half of that um, one IC on one side of the board versus an IC on the bottom side of the opposite board and it's causing a clash there. Very difficult for the, to, to locate those type of things when you're working kind of the 2D environment because obviously I'm looking at these side by side flat. So very accurate to calculate the step uh, model clashes when you've got bending.